Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play this very awesomely catchy song called Taco Cat. Okay, fun fact, did you know that Taco Cat spelled backwards is also Taco Cat? <laughs> okay, actually don't worry about it because that's actually part of the lyrics, okay? I actually didn't know before that, but now I do, okay? Pretty awesome. But anyway, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and teach you the main theme of the song. I'll give you a preview before we start learning how to play this, okay? Check it out. It goes like this. Here's a preview of it. it goes like this. Okay, let me see if we can see all the keys that we can. It goes like this. Pretty awesome, all right? Very catchy. Let's go ahead and learn how to play this. Okay, so it seems pretty fast, but the left hand will break it up to block chords, then I'll tell you the accompaniment is actually very easy. It's just doing umpa umpa pattern, okay? But we'll play everything in block chords for now, and I'll teach you what to do at the end, okay? Anyway, the first part, break up to parts, goes like this. Right hand goes like this, starts on the F here, middle C is here, we go up an octave C, we go up to this F, okay? So it just goes F, A, C, A, F, a, C, A, B flat, A, G, rest. B flat, A, G, rest. Okay, that's the first part for the right hand, alright? Right, one more time for the right hand. So it goes like this. F, A, C, A, F, A, C, A, B flat, A, G, rest. B flat, A, G, rest. Like that, okay? So that's pretty much it. What I just told you where to rest is where you rest, okay? But all the rhythm is pretty much like straight, it just goes like that, okay? What else you can do? Rest, rest like that, okay? You can double up on the speed, but still the same thing, the same place and where the rhythm is like kind of like working for both um, first and second part, but afterwards I'll tell you about it anyway. But anyway, <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part. The left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are F major twice, which is F, A, C. Okay, so two of them. After two F majors, it's two of C majors, which is C, E, G. Okay, and that for twice, okay? So the four chords, pretty easy, just two F majors, followed by two C majors. Okay, so once you get it into your head, play it in different octaves, so you kind of like can play it wherever you want, and like yeah, just try to memorize the position of one of them, and just kind of like try to play it without looking at the keyboard. That's a good thing to kind of like, I guess, practice because like um, if you don't have to look at the left hand, you can just focus on like the right hand because most of the time the right hand's jumping around, and yeah, you don't want to worry about two hands at the same time, sometimes you can't really look at both hands at the same time, so that's why like some pianists just tend to like fly around the piano because they just kind of know what they're doing. But anyway, so that's just a trick for you, just maybe you can learn stuff faster like that. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and put the two hands together for this first part. So it goes like this, F and F major together, and then the next F and F major together, and then B flat and C major together, B flat and C major together again. Like that, alright? So one more time, that's the first part. Let's do it again. So it goes together, 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 together. Just like that. Okay, so now moving on to the second part now. The second part, as I said before, the first part is actually exactly the same as the second part. So we just save some time. Learning these patterns are very useful so we don't have to double up and learning extra stuff. Okay? Anyway, so second part exactly the same as the first part, so we just do it again. So the second part, exactly the same thing. Just like that, that's the second part. Okay, so, so far, the first two parts we've learned already, the first part equals the second part, it goes um, played back to back like this. Check it out. So it goes together. Rest. 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 That. Okay, so that's how you play it back to back, the first two parts. Okay, anyway, so I'm uh, moving on to the third part now. The third part right hand goes like this. It goes three Fs, and then D, F, G, F, and then it goes G, 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 F, G, A, G, like that. That's the third part, all right? One more time, so it goes like this. F, 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 D, F, G, F, G, 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 F, G, A, G, 
like that. That's the right hand for the third part. Okay, so that's the right hand. So it's kind of like a um, like a similar contour melody here. But just remember, F F F D F G F, and then change the G G G F G A G like that. Okay, so it kind of fits right in the fingers like that. That's the third part for the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are okay, two B flat major chords, which is B flat, D, and F. So play two of those. And then two of C majors, which is C, E, G. Yeah, so two of them as well, okay? So two B flat majors and two C majors. With those four chords in mind, kind of memorize it and like put your fingers underneath like all the possible like kind of like octaves so you can just like kind of fly around the piano like that. Um, yeah, the two hands together goes like this together. Okay, so F and B flat major together for this third part. And then next F and B flat major chord together. And then next G and C major together. And then G and C major together. Like that. Okay, so that's the third part. So pretty simple, similar position. So together, together, rest. Together, rest like that. Okay, so that's the third part. Like that. Okay, so so far, the three parts that we've learned goes back to back like this. Check it out. So you can see that this song is pretty fast, the right hand is doing a lot of stuff So the main thing is practice slowly first and get it articulate the whole way even though it is fast Okay, so go slow first, just go like da, da, da. Like, like that And then eventually, if you can go faster, it has to be clear and articulate as well No point of doing this no, no, None of that because it's messy, okay? Even if it's fast, like it has to be very clear Yeah, a good way to do it is kind of do it like half staccato. So half staccato means just like sort of like half short and detached. So it's like not like super short, not like that's like hard to do as well. So you just do like that just helps with the crispness, crisp, crispness of the sound. Not Christmas, crisp. This. Yeah, so it's like kind of like crisp and nice and clear. Okay, but anyway, uh, that's the third part. The um, fourth and last part of today's lesson, the theme, uh, just very easy. Just <laughs> the right hand is just C, the high C here, and that's it. <laughs> okay, so one note. But anyway, the left hand has two chords here, it's two C major chords C, E, G, and C major again. That's the fourth part. So pretty easy. It's just the high C and C major together, and then C major by itself again. And that's the fourth part. Pretty easy, okay, very short. Okay, one more time. And then here, like that. And that's it for the four, four parts, okay? So, back to back, all the four parts goes like this. Like that, just like that. And that's the four parts that we've learned, okay? So, um, yeah, so uh, what I was gonna say before, at the start of the lesson, I teach you how to do that thing at the start, okay? So the, um, what I call the kind of like accompaniment is actually very easy to do. Um, the umpa pattern is basically what we do is, we take in the chords and then we do the lowest note first and the high two notes, just like that. So it's like, like that. Okay, so F major would just be that, and then C major would just be C, and then E, G, like that, and B flat major would just be like that. So there's only three possibilities for this part, so just like, so, actually, yeah, so umpa umpa. so every chord you replace with umpa umpa, meaning there's four small main beats, so it's like, like that, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, for like, if you do it like really quickly because agility is required there, but just go slowly first. Like that, and then. Yes, like that. Yes. That okay, once you get it really clear and articulate, then you can just add the speed in. Yeah, 
So that's what is like that's what I do in my cover as well. So check out my full cover. I cover the entire song, including all the modulation section, the key changes and stuff. It's a pretty awesome and catchy song. And I did some improvisation, other improvisations in it as well, including the um, modulator sections. I did some other accompaniment and also the last modulator section. I did some more arpeggios and all this kind of stuff. And yeah, just go check it out and enjoy it because it's quite a fun song to just purely listen to as well. And anyway, as for now, check out my other like. Um, what did I do as well? I think I did um, tacos. It's raining tacos as well, okay? By the same composer. Check that out as well, and I did a tutorial on that. Enjoy that as well, and as for now, enjoy your time on my channel, and see you next time. Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.